So it's another rainy Sunday up here in Vancouver. It's like the rainiest uh, April, May on record. But uh, I want to make a quick video about um, a problem I hear about fairly often. It's actually kind of interesting how um, as this stuff gets older, uh, you know, you get stuff that has uh, some issues that you didn't see maybe 10 years ago. So here's a, uh, a 1995 Type K transaxle. Now it was mated. Uh, it was mated to this transmission. Now, in a Type K, this can be an electric motor for an electric car, obviously, or a transmission uh, mounted to this uh, flange in a gas car. <clears throat> now, what I get occasionally is guys calling and saying they cannot remove the transmission or the motor. Uh, from the transaxle. Now, I hate to say it, but if you've got all the hardware out of the way and you're forcing this even slightly, you got to stop and, and, and move on to something that's much more involved, and I'm going to explain that. Now, uh, this input shaft is in... I'm just going to pull it out. Oopsie day. It, there it goes. Is in, is in great shape. Now, the transmission... You can see there's some, you know, rust, some corrosion there. This input shaft was mated to that transmission. Now, here's a good one. Basically, we could just wipe that off. Here's kind of a bad one. Now, what you need to do, if you've got a, an assembly like this mated together, you've got all the hardware out of the way, and you can't, can't, this, <coughs> can't get this apart, the only way I've found to do this is to split the case, so imagine you've got rid of the axles, like in this, in, I always just pop the axles off. They're just sitting over there. And uh, undo all your case hardware, split the case. So now you're looking at this assembly kind of mounted together like this. Then what I do is use a small <coughs> jaw puller to get this bearing off. That allows you to get the idler and the differential out. So you now basically have, this is a little more strip because I've got the crown off, but now you've basically got a case mounted to an electric motor or a transaxle like this, kind of stripped, and you've got this bearing removed. And then what you would do, and this seems to be about the only way I've found to do it, is grab a slide hammer, you know, you might beg, borrow, or steal one of these from a neighbor or what have you that has some sort of an angle adapter. Now this one's sort of permanent. This one I've got it so I can change little adapters on it. But you want to get in behind the gear and you want to slide hammer this whole thing out of the case. So it'll drag the bearing. I'm not sure if this one will come out. Oh there, yeah it does. It's kind of easy. This one. But it'll drag this whole thing out and once you've got this out of the way you're going to be able to I mean, basically, your electric motor or your transaxle is just going to fall off. Now, I, I want to warn everybody about this forcing. If you break one of these cases today, um, or transmit... I mean, this stuff's getting so rare. This transmission is sold. But admittedly, guys, uh, if you bust one of these K Type Ks today... I mean, I used to have, like, ten of these in stock. Right now, I've got, like, four of them. And they're commanding big dollars today. So it, it sucks that you've got to strip your transaxle, strip the case. But it's about the only way to save both the transmission case or the motor face and the Type K housing is to split the case and slide hammer that baby out. It's about the only way you can do it. Sorry to be the bearer of bad news, but I hope that helps people who are in a, in a pickle. Anyways, see you later.